It's Wednesday, July the 8th, 2015. And guess what? It is 12.15 p.m. So it's lunch time for me. And I am officially on vacation. Yes, I took a half a day today. I'm on my way to meet some of my co-workers at a restaurant because we're celebrating her birthday today. So it's going to be three of us and we're going to Longhorn Steakhouse. So I will try to get capture what I'm having for um, lunch. I haven't um, had a lot to eat this morning. This morning I had some coffee and some bacon and two hard boiled eggs for breakfast. It was really, really tough for me getting up out of the bed this morning because I didn't get in the bed until after one this morning. And I wasn't going to at all, but I feel like I need to come in, just do a few things, try to get my office straightened up and cleaned up, some files put away before going on vacation, but that did not happen either. So I may just go back in on Friday um, and just, just do some things. Uh, for a couple hours Friday. I may do that. Um, my vacation will be pretty much a staycation. I don't have any plans to go anywhere. I know I do have plans at the end of the month to go to uh, Myrtle Beach for a couple of days and that's about it. Um, but you know me and my husband we may do an impromptu um, vacation and go somewhere. I don't know but I just want to rest guys because uh, normally I don't rest a lot because I, um, I've i never been a sleeper or sleep in. I'm so used to getting up in the mornings even when I'm off. I'm up. You know, I, I get up. I don't really sleep in at like 10. I really don't do that unless I'm really, really tired or had a really rough night. And this morning I really, really wanted to sleep and I didn't get up until after 7 this morning because I usually get up about 6 30 but um so yeah so after I leave them for lunch I may just go get a manicure and pedicure or I may wait to do that tomorrow or I may just go home and um and exercise so I don't know, we'll see, but I try to capture what I get for lunch today at Longhorn. They have very good choices. I know they do have a sweet baked potato. I think I may get that. I'm thinking about the ribs today or either steak. I know that I am hungry and I'm looking forward to this meal today. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. I hope that everything is wonderful in your world. I hope that you are accomplishing your goals and even if you've gotten off track guys it's always um you always can get back on track it's just making that choice making the decision to do that you're just one choice away from making a change that would change your life forever just know that so I've talked like over three minutes now and I'm getting ready to hop off off here and I will see you guys in a little bit so guys it is 3 27 p.m. and I'm just leaving the restaurant we had a good long lunch we had a long talk and lots of laughs so it was very good birthday for my friend and um, now I'm finally headed home we didn't go to, um, yeah, we did go to, we, yeah, we did wind up going to Hong Kong. And it was good. And I will show you what I had for lunch right here. My choice wasn't very healthy. I had the ribs, I had a baked potato, and not a baked potato, a sweet baked potato. And I had a salad prior to that. And then to top it off, we had some of their, we shared a dessert. I was split it three ways. We shared a dessert. And I got a piece of, I think it was a blueberry lemon cake. It was warm. It had this cream sauce. It was delicious, guys. So, um, you know, it was a day of celebration. And I didn't feel bad about my meal. 
Um, I did feel guilty. I am full. I am satisfied. And so tonight for dinner, me and my husband, we will have some turkey burgers. And um, I guess I'll just decide what I'm going to have um, if I have a side with that. Because that was a pretty good feeling meal. But now I am going to the GYM to try to work some of it off anyway. And um, yeah, that's that's about it. I just wanted to you know, check in with you guys. I did drink water. The uh, waitress was trying to tempt us with drinks. Um, I do not drink alcoholic beverages, but I was looking into a strawberry virgin daiquiri, but I didn't get that. We all just wound up drinking water. And so, yeah. So it was a good time and a good time of celebration. I think it's okay to celebrate. Not be so hard and strict on yourself sometimes. But I enjoyed that. So that was my cheat meal for the week. And now we get back to the grind time, guys. I will check with you all once I get in the gym. It's on the treadmill, one mile. Look at how sweat is poured off of me, guys. On the bike, not the tread. Well, I keep getting mixed up. But anyway, the sweat is. So, my workout here is done. I was moving a little slower today, I think, probably because I had just finished eating and my tummy was full. So. I was a little sore um, than normal and um, you know and I stand in that this is my truth you know I'm recording my journey here showing the good the bad and the ugly a couple people made comments to me saying that you're always in the gym and I know it seems that way because I am bringing you on this journey with me and most of the time I do want you to see what I'm doing to try to affect change in my life and going to the gym every day consistently is one of the biggest parts. Some days it's easier than others, other days it's harder than others. But this is my truth. Um, I try to be honest about what I'm putting in my mouth when I make mistakes, when I eat things that I should eat. When I'm out of control, as I was um, yesterday, when I uploaded it about potato chips, you know, this is just my truth. And it's just helping me stand in that to um, help somebody else because sometimes you see people's journeys and they only show you the good parts. They show you the before and after picture, but they don't show you what happened in between. But this is my in between. Um, you know, on those days when you look in the mirror as you're working out, you're walking and it seems like your butt is still on your back. It looks like you haven't lost a pound and it's like after a month of doing this why am I still doing this so I want to show this part uh, because this is the in-between part this is the the good and ugly part like I said you know it's just a journey and um, whenever you're going on a journey sometimes there are stop signs there are green lights there are yellow lights there are red lights there are yield signs they are caution signs so that's exactly what this is it is a journey that we all are on and i do want to capture you know the moments that are so pretty and it's not so easy for me to finish when i want to give up but doing this right here being accountable to people who i know that are subscribed to me and when you subscribe to me that's, that means that you're investing in me you're investing your time and your energy to watch what I'm doing, to watch my progression. A lot of you are cheering me on. And there may be some people that I know that want to see me fail, as we all do. Have people that are sitting back watching and looking, trying to see what you're doing, how you're progressing, if you're really going to finish it this time, if you're really going to do it, if it's going to work for them. Um, but you know, it's I mean, such a lot. But like I said before, you know. I can show you better, I can tell you. And this time we are going to do that. So I just want you guys to um, very much be encouraged um, on your journey that even when you're working out, you go back, you look in the mirror, sometimes it may seem like your 
clothes fit even tighter baby, because you're gaining muscle and not losing as much fat and sometimes that you know the muscle is showing on the scale so just be encouraged guys i'm on my way home i finished my workout i got four miles in it took me a little longer but i did get it done and i feel really good about it so i will see you guys um later on tomorrow if something hits me i want to record it I, I, I just believe in being raw. I don't pre-plan. My videos are the only ones that I pre-plan or I um, have planned out in my heads are my accountabilities. I know that I have to do those every Friday because I told you that I would do those. But as soon as school starts, it's going to be a little bit different. So I may have to do those on Saturdays um, because, you know, school for me starts back here really in less than a month. So um, I work at a college. So you know it's a little bit different but um anyway so that's what i want to say to you guys so i will um see you guys in a little bit take care do well in your journeys don't quit keep going no matter what it looks like the results are going to show up in the end talk to you guys soon